Hi welcome back my name is Monica and today in this video I am going to discuss how you can connect or how you can link the two Jira instances with the help of the applications link integration so without any further ado let's get started so here in the uh, product settings when you will click on the Kog icon and will click on the products we have the applications links under the integrations when I will click on the application link then here in the applications page you can integrate the jira with the another atlassian's account so that you can make the links between the two jira instances we will check how we can do it so i have connected the two uh, applications link here which is one is confluence and the another one is this that i have the another instance so i'll go and so i'll go and here you can see we have one two and three integrations right now i'm working on this and let me tell you um i will click on this web gentle learn here it will open my another instance come again into the applications link and what i will do i will disconnect this so that i can uh, delete okay delete yes so that i can give you the example how you will do it let me close it yes this is my another instance and this is my instance one and this is my instance two now here i will take a project which is data project and here i will take a project which is jira admin project I will do the same thing with this instance the instance 2 I will go to the product tab and then I will click on the application link and I will remove this Jira training here uh, you can see it's a config error because I have deleted from the instance 1 so I will go and I will delete it from here yes So now what I will do, I will connect my this in Jira instance 1 with the instance 2 which is web gentle learn. For this I will click on the create link and here we have the choose what type of application link you want to create. Right now I want to create the direct application link. So I will enter the application link from here copy and paste. Yes now i will click on the continue and here it is asking about the confirmation so i will continue and you are creating a link from this instance and to this applications here you can see and i am an administrations on both instance yes i am so i will click on the continue and you are now being redirected to this this instance one will redirect me to the instance two so it's an instance too because it will create a reciprocal link here click continue to create the link and the redirect it back to the jira training jira training means instance one so i'll click on the continue and you are now being redirected to the jira training you can read the message application link monica web gentle and jira created successfully and the status is connected here you can go to the remote see we have the instance monica rani and if you will go to the remote uh, sorry let me click it again go to the remote it will take you up to the web gentle learn see you have clicked uh, from the instance 1 and now you are on the instance 2 and when you will come here you can see we have the jira training and it's also connected and when you will click on go to remote it will open the jira instance one link so these uh, applications are connected to each other now now we'll see what is the benefit of doing it so i'll take a project of instance one and which is jira admin training i'll go to the backlog and i will take uh, one issue here let's suppose if i'm taking ssp6 
so the issue key is SSP6 here I will click on this issue and in the link issue we have the options sorry when I click on the link issue here you can see we have the local and when you will click we have the uh, instance to Monica web gentle learn here so if I'll click on authenticate to search then it will ask to for the authentications we have to allow it yeah now you can choose this one and if you let's suppose is uh, clone or oh, what is the relationship that you want I am just taking it for the test purpose and I will search the issue of instance 2 let's suppose this is my instance 2 I'll click on the backlog in the same project and I will search for the key DP2 this is the issue of my instance 2 and I am searching it within instance 1 so let's suppose DP yeah exact key is this one now I'll click on the link and here you can see the DP2 is linked with the SSP6 and DP2 is the issue of the instance 2 and SSP6 is a issue of the instance 1 and when we will come back and we will check the DP2 I'll click on DP2 and when I will click on the link issue here I am SSP6 is already linked to this DP2 but it will again ask for the authentications for the Jira instance 2 I'll click on the allow and yes you can see here this particular issue is linked to this one DP2 so this is how the application link works